guys welcome back with another video today we're gonna analyze and talk a little bit of p diddy sean daddy cones uh as we all know he's um been in media accused and um he was actually arrested for trafficking um for gun violation he's been probably gonna get a lot of more charges on it and um uh, we'll see what happens next and um uh, if if he was smart he he should cooperate with the authorities right now and um instead of going to trial he should negotiate and cooperate and um get what 15 20 years and then um hoping you know he crops he builds other cases and maybe 20 years he gets out in 15 but if he goes to trial let's put it this way if he if, if he goes to trial and enticing professionals workers to cross state lines from california to miami to new york you already you're already guilty of uh, trafficking that's a done deal so he's gonna get convicted about that so they contact me and they told me to come this that he's gonna get 20 years right there then he's got the gun charges and the weapons that were found that's a major one so he's done he should not go to trial he can't beat the trial so i'm thinking 15 20 years i don't know if they're gonna let him cooperate but but who knows if he's going to trial he's definitely getting 30 years but we'll see what happens i mean his situation uh, i don't know if his situation they want to cooperate with him Maybe they're going to say, we don't want anybody else. We, we're focused on you. We just want you. We want P. Diddy to go down, make an example of him, and just put him behind bars and, and just lock him up for all the stuff, all the years that he was doing, whatever he was doing. So who knows what's going to happen. But for him, the best case is to cooperate if they will allow him to cooperate. Otherwise, he's in he's in big trouble so the main witness casey he tried to negotiate the deal he was trying to close that deal with her behind settlement behind closed doors she didn't want to do that so so we don't we don't know what's ever but what's the only thing is maybe can help him is if they decide like go back to the tupac murder if he can cooperate about that maybe that will give him a little break who knows if he's involved or not but who knows what's what they talk about behind closed doors so so we don't know if he has something to say whatever it is they might help him but still he can talk to them cooperate and they can still give him 20 years he's 54 he gave him 20 he's 74 so he does 17 years he's good behavior halfway halfway house and at the end he can still 15 years he gets out uh, he gets out um he just gets out of the prison uh, when he's 70 years old. But on the other hand, he, he's got a billions of dollars that he can use and uh, pay a lot of money, spend a lot of money to good attorneys. So, so I don't know if they're going to let him cooperate. Maybe they're just like, people are like that. Maybe they're like, hey, we're not, we're not what? We're just gonna go to the trial. We don't want you to cooperate with you, and 
But then sometimes money, I don't know if money can help him in this case. I don't know if money can help him. This He's been doing a lot of stuff for many, many years. So the money will help him if he gets convicted and he goes to jail. Of course, money's going to money's gonna help him definitely um, in jail. It's going to be hard for them to adapt from all the stuff that the way he, his lifestyle that he was living <laughs> you know how it is in a cell no internet no drinks no alcohol no drugs no nothing uh, he's probably freaking out right now walking left and right bouncing up and down you know it's which is a bad case but we don't know how he's gonna get out of this one but He's, he's got to, whatever he's got to do, he's got to do. There's not much that he can do when he's locked up. So it's going to be hard. But the, mon the money is going to help him going on his books. And uh, he'll have enough money to spend. Well, there's a limit, $400 you can spend on your books uh, a month, but you can't spend hundreds, thousands, thousands of dollars. Obviously, there's a limit for everything. So it could be a little bit more easier for him because he has that much money. He can do whatever he's got to do, but we'll see. We'll see what happens in the future with this case. And for now, he's the only one. There's not like other people that are convicted not convicted, accused with him, like Puffy's on the top and other people are like on the bottom, like organized, uh, uh, organize, criminal organi organization. No, they all they wanted to do and all they did is just list him, convict him, and his bail was denied. He's a threat to society. He's threat. Maybe he, he'll try to run. So his bail was denied. We'll see what happens in the future. Maybe they'll when they can ask for another bail in the future, see what happens. So I I'm not sure with that, but I'm probably going to have to listen to some of the experts that are talking about it. Uh, so they know better stuff than me. I'm just trying to take this information, what I heard, and uh, just to spread it out. So this is what's happening. So.